The mix of this extreme cold and snow is causing some issues for crews trying to battle slick roads. ABC 17's Connor Hirsch joins us live in Columbia tonight after checking in with Missouri road crews. Connor, they've been out on the roads all afternoon already. In Sydney, Columbia Public Works and MoDOT told me that they've been out on the roads treating this light snow that we saw, but you can still see here on Business Loop in Columbia, there's still a little bit of snow on the road, and I can confirm Maddie's forecast. It is bitterly cold out here, and these temperatures are making it harder for the crews to uh, treat these roads. Our salt loses a lot of effectiveness starting at 25 degrees. And it just gets worse from there and we're way below 25 degrees. Central District's maintenance engineer for MoDOT, Jason Schaefer, said wall crews will continue to be out all night and morning tomorrow. These bitter cold temperatures make that harder. Salt lowers the freezing point of water, but Schaefer said that can only go so far. For example, when it's about 30 degrees outside, one pound of salt can melt about 50 pounds of ice. But when we get to temperatures like this in the single digits, one pound of salt can only melt about three to five pounds of ice. We're doing what we can, but just the science of it is, it's going to take a lot of material to do very, very little. Columbia Public Works will also be out monitoring the roads and treating them with salt. While it does have a lower effectiveness, it still can be beneficial in winter weather events such as this. The extreme cold can also take a toll on your car, so officials say to keep that in mind before you venture out. Mechanical devices are not immune to cold, so if your car breaks down, the temperatures that we have, you know, hypothermia can set in, frostbite can set in. If they do have to drive, uh, especially a morning commute, just to be aware of the forecast and the changing weather conditions, things can change very fast. And with these bitter cold temperatures that we are expecting this week, officials say to keep blankets, uh, extra water, food, and other essentials in your car in case you do get stuck out in these dangerously cold temperatures. Reporting live in Columbia, Connor Hirsch, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Connor. Go inside and warm up. And we will continue, of course, to monitor the road conditions across mid-Missouri. And be sure and tune into ABC 17 News tomorrow morning for up-to-date information and weather forecasts for your commute.